Skadish. Joy Moss, Bad the Boy Gaming. Happy Father's Day to all of the lovely Fajas out there. All the all the big papas holding it down. Being a part of your children's lives, doing the right thing, and bringing up that child to the best of your ability. That is amazing, and big, uh, big happy Father's Day to my own papa. And, um, yeah, happy Father's Day, guys. Look at all this fun stuff. I got Jax in the background of this video, just so you guys are aware. Um, uh, I said it's Father's Day, so he's going to be in this one. Oh, no, what happened? What happened? It broke. It broke. It broke. Let me see. <laughs> oh, you want to play with that? Okay. okay. I got to set something up for him really quick. <laughs> I bought... Let me show you. Ugh. It broke. Who has one of these? Oh. Uh -oh. Oh boy, it's Mario Kart racing. Hold on, guys. Racing? We got a race! Oh my gosh, Jax! <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna zip through this. That'll be a bit too loud if I do that right now. I know, hold on, monkey. Let me do this, okay? Hold on. Look at that beautiful, prideful playmat uh, play from Ground Zero. Big shout outs to Mark. I do like that playmat. That actually looks pretty dope, man. We're going to open this one box of Kamigawa Neonic Dynasty in this little Father's Day video. Uh, I just wanted to get something out to you guys really quick. A one and done, and then we'll also crack the rest of that box. Uh, no need to shuffle. Good luck to the shop, which is where these beautiful cards will be in good old Strongsville, Ohio. Big money, honey. We're looking for big money, honey. Ooh, these look breathtaking. Here we go. Oh, these are still fetching a decent price buck there. Yep, Sky Bless Samurai. Prosperous, Moon Circuit Hacker. Uh, we got our March of the Burgeoning. Okay, Catwoman the Animator. Light Paws Emperor's Voice. Still has a few pennies to it. Mirror Box. Uh, I did mass collect a... a oh, wow. Hi, dogs, baby. Hi, dogs. Price check. I owe wet pants. <laughs> oh, I think I just squirted. Oh my goodness, $7.79. The price has just taken a tumble. Oh wow, that was shocking, man. Um, I almost forgot Jax, Jax was in the room, so. Yeah, we can't go too far off base here. Uh, gotta be a little appropriate, so yeah, sorry. I almost went on a little little, uh, little tirade there, but can't go any further. Okay, here we go. Norika, yes, uh, the Duke, uh, the Duke of, uh, the Duke of Hazard. Pollard boy, come on, give us something juicy. Mind link mech. Mind link mech. Camera's looking pretty hot. Swift reconfiguration. Mm, vehicle crewing. Hanada, Dawn Crown. I'm curious what that's at right now. Hanada, Dawn Crown. What are you fetching? Let's take a look see. Weaver of Harmony. Blade of the Oni. Oh, okay. Let's. We got a couple cards I'm going to check out here. Let's get a price check here. Price check, please. Thank you, sir. Wow, prices do tumble, man. Three dollars and eighty cents on the Oni, and uh, like thirty, forty cents on the Dawn. Wait, is it thirty, forty cents Dawn Crown? Seventy cents on the Dawn Crown. Wow, I think okay, I think I know what's going on here. After opening so many boxes, what Wizards of the Coast is doing now is just shoving so much product down our throats that we continuously are getting excited and experiencing FOMO. So we buy up a bunch of stuff, and then before we know it, we're all hype about these new cards. We're all excited. Another product comes out and pushes out the old product and the prices just plummet. Plus, there's also a bunch of hype. You know, there's a lot of factors built in to why card prices shoot down, you know, and the biggest one is the hype. Everyone gets really excited, and then it's like, oh, okay, now that's over with next set. But they're hitting us so quickly now. It's like, wham, 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 wham. Like, it's nonstop. So, like, the prices are, like, up. And then they drop. And then you think they're going to stay up like that. But then by the time it hits another set and then it's another set after that, by that time it hits that third set after the one set came out that you bought, 
you are already on the second wave of price obliteration and drop on that product. And it takes a long time for the sets to recover. Um, and that a prime example, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Prime example of that um, <laughs> was Blade of Oni and uh, Takanama uh, Abandoned Mire. Last time I looked up Abandoned Mire, man, that was actually a pretty desirable card. Shh, no, no, Jax, not right now, buddy. Um, so, yeah, that really, like, is, is not even shocking to see the prices tank, but it is what it is. So there's Kami War. Um, bada bang. Mirror Box. What is this going for right now? Kami War is not going for crap. It's one card I specced on and got obliterated. I specced on this, the showcase version, um, as well as uh, the showcase foil version, as well as the pre release. Let's take a look at those prices. Not terrible. $1.91 on the showcase version of this card that has that back. So I didn't do too bad on these ones. They're not as, I didn't take as big as a loss as I thought. Um, I, yeah, I, I definitely took a little bath, but I didn't take the, the strongest bath with the best, uh, with the best bath salts in there, you know, use them correctly and they're fun. Uh, mirror box. Let's see what we got there. <clears throat> take a look here. People running around as zombies acting all freaking deranged, man. Uh, mirror box. This is one I definitely specced on heavily. Um, how are we doing on it? 347. Uh, that, oh, that's a pre-release, by the way. Um, we are looking at, on the showcase, 392. 392 on the showcase for that guy, so, yeah, it could be worse, could be better, okay. Not gonna go over every single price, but just a few prices here and there as we, uh, as we truck along, man. Truck along, tra la truck along, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. here we go. We got Walker. Wow, there you go, baby. All of them guts. Uh huh. Gin Gitaxis Progress Tyrant. That is one we will look up with uh, Mr. Pennant right around the corner. Cool. Lizard Blades and Sir Charge Mac with Storm's Edge. Okay. There's our Dragon Spirit token. Pretty, pretty cool. Pay no attention to the piles. They mean absolutely nothing. Wow. $10.36. Oh, my goodness, mate. That is insanity. I really got to find these tight fit sleeves. Where the heck are they? I know I got some. I don't think this is them. Um, yeah, I don't think I got any right here. No, that, that is them. Okay, that is them. Okay, good. Wow. 1036. The Phyrexian art um, and foil, of course, you know, that with the etch, those are a, a bit more sought after. But even the price on that, you know, they have come down quite a bit, guys. Quite a bit. These, uh, the swamps are still looking pretty hot to trap. Uh, ooh, Soaring City. Still a very breathtaking card. Last time I looked, this was like $10 to $15. I'm wondering what that's going for now. Uh, Visionary, Reality Architect, Soul Transfer, Haystead. All right, I'm dropping that right here, dropping them bows. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a sad day, Jax. My, I love you so much, buddy. It's a sad day. Jax, in this card... The foil price is worth less than the non-foil price. Isn't that crazy? The, fo look, look the foil price is worth less than the non-foil. What non -foil. is this? What are you looking at? What's this? Okay, what, 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 that stuff. <laughs> you want to play with the box? Yeah, box. You want to play with the box? It's pink, fun, fun color. He threw it right in the trash. That's my boy. Give me five, dude. What's up? That's what's good. All right. Keeping a truck, and he knows what's going on. Uh, $9.51 non, uh, for the foil, non, uh, non-foil, $10.41, yikes, man, wizards, that's a sign, man, you guys are really screwing shit up here, with way over printing things, man, way over printing the foils, Fable of Mirror Breaker is worth, uh, a little something here, we're gonna look that one up. Just a moment. Let's see there. March of Otherworldly Light, Scrap Welder, and the Restoration of Iganjo. Alejandro! Alejandro! Right? Ooh, that looks fun. I never really look at the back of these. But there you have it. Fun stuff on the back. Well, let's take a look at some pricing. Similar story. Nine forty nine for the foil. And uh, ten twenty five for the non-foil. On the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. So interesting, man. 
so so very so very interesting. Just smell this. Ooh, it smells good. I love it. Here we go. Keeping it trucking. You almost forget there's neon ink cards in here because they're seldom pulled, but still, no one has pulled a red neon ink card other than I. And that we thank you. It's amazing. March of Swirling Mist. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. And not a dawn crowned. If you guys want to see that pool, I mean, it's epic. It's, it's single-handedly the most expensive Magic the Gathering card opened from a booster pack ever in the history of the game. <laughs> like, you do realize that, right? That's, like, amazing craziness, man. And we did it here on this channel. Um, uh, I'm talking, like, upon release. Because, yeah, we could all say, What about the Black Lotus? You know? Well, yeah, uh, upon release, the Black Lotus was not worth, you know, $1,500, $2,000. So... Now, there's my little story. We're sticking to it, okay? Um, it was probably like a $50 card or something. We all knew it was good, but, you know, how good, you know. Time definitely told us. Um, but, yeah, for that card, that's insanity, man. Here we go. And will we see something like that again? Oh, yeah, you bet your bottom dollar, man. Um, with them doing serial numbered cards, we're definitely going to see that very soon here. Uh, Horio, Horio, kiss. Ascend an acolyte. Come on, Dragon Cami Reborn. Grease Bangle Kaba. March of All the Worldly Light. <laughs> Nothing. All right. The marches and the other worldly lights and all that is something. It almost sounds like popcorn, Jax. You know that? You want to eat some popcorn tonight? You want to eat some popcorn tonight, maybe? Watch a movie? He's been my buddy. He hasn't even left my side, man. It's been crazy. It's been a freaking blast. There we got Okaba, Okiba, Extinction, Soul Ripper. Whoa, Kato, Big Dog, showing on up. Showing on up. Rest in peace, Big Dog. The Kato, uh, Kato shows up in all of his glory. We're just throwing piles here. Uh, we'll get a couple packs in and then do some pricing. Careful with that, Jax. He's playing with the pool sticks. Careful, buddy. Gotta be a little careful. Here we go. Yeah, we got something fun back here. There's Crucible of Defiance. Whoops. I can move a few of these over here. This goes oh, right there. Here we go. All right. Crucible of Defiance. Ca uh, the Kappa, Kappa, Kappa Cannoneer, I thought, was going up in price a little bit there. Weaver of Harmony. Wow. Swirling Sky. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art there. There's Swirling Sky. Gorgeous, gorgeous art. And Invoke Calamity. Okay, let's get a little price check, aisle three. Okay, see what we got cooking on here. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. Let's just go there. 402 on Swirling Sky, 10 bucks on Kato. Yikes, man. Very low. <laughs> You're supposed to put someone in the chair when you spin them, silly goose. <laughs> hey, you want to spin me? Oh, uh, I see. You just take all the fun out of everything. I can't spin. You can't. I, I, I wanted to get this spin around, but you get this spin around. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. We just went to the the carnival this weekend, and man, we had a blast. He got me to go on a Ferris wheel, which I'm, like, terrified of. Whoa! You almost fell! You almost fell! Oh, my goodness! Woo! Okay, that's it. That's it. He's like, that wasn't as crazy as the roller coaster rides we were on. <laughs> okay. I just want to finish this up for you guys. And now he's spinning himself again. Okay. You going to spin daddy? You want to spin me? And then he, he's, then he gets right back on. No, you spin me, dad. <laughs> All right. See what, else, what else are we going to pull out of here? Surge Hacker Mac. There's a Surge Hacker Mac. Shattered Blade. Uh, Shattered Blade's pretty cool. Reality Architect and the old Umazawa shows up again. Asari Commander. No etch cards just yet. No crazy etch cards. It's a dime a dozen, I'll tell you that. Um, Umazawa's not bad. This card might be worth, like, not much. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of value on here. All right. Final. Final pack to go. Final pack to go through. Let's pull something big. Thing boy, March of Wretched. Rampant Explosive sing Singularity. I don't think I have cards worth a whole lot anymore. Um, there we got Spider Boy and Surge Hacker Mac. We're going to do uh, the rest of this uh, case. Not today, though. 
Uh, but definitely stick around for that, guys. I hope everyone has a fantastic Father's Day. Um, and yeah. <laughs> you gonna spin me? <laughs> my turn, my turn. My turn. My turn. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, my goodness. Oh, you're so fast. <laughs> He's not even three years old yet, by the way. He's like he's like two two years and uh ten months. Two years and nine months. Oh my goodness. Whoa! It's like we're at Cedar Point. Woo! Ah! Go again. This is the best ride ever. Thank you for all the fun. Woo! Oh my goodness. Daddy fun. Daddy, daddy having fun. Yes. Whoa. Cool, man. Give me five. Come, come here. Give me five. Ah! Give me five. No? You just want to spin around? Okay. That was fun. Thank you, buddy. Bye, guys. I hope you have a good one. Skadoosh.